the race for the mayor of Bridgeport, Connecticut. But this one has been marred by serious allegations of voter fraud. Unlike the recent elections where the words election fraud have been thrown around without any credible evidence to back it up, tonight marks the second go-around for two rivals this election season after a judge last week threw out the results of the primary, concluding that fraud did likely impact the voting. The judge ordered a brand-new Democratic primary to be held after today's general election. Incumbent Mayor Joe Gannon is on today's ballot as the Democrat. He again faces off against his primary challenger, John Gomes, who is now the independent candidate. And then there's Republican David Hers, who no one thinks has really any chance. Gomes successfully argued in court that he was the victim of absentee ballot fraud, Video released by the Gomes campaign appeared to show a Bridgeport government official walk up to a drop box in the early morning hours of September 5th and make multiple deposits of absentee ballots. Gannon would eventually win by just 251 votes. You can see a woman walking up to the drop box, placing multiple ballots inside. A few seconds later, she comes back and does it again. It's likely a violation of state law, which requires voters to drop off their ballots themselves or specifically designate someone to do it for them. And that woman you saw on camera didn't exactly help clear things up when during a court hearing challenging the election results, she pleaded the fifth. It was enough for Superior Court Judge William Clark to conclude the results of the primary couldn't be trusted. Quote, the volume of ballots so mishandled is such that it calls the result of the primary election into serious doubt and leaves the court unable to determine the legitimate result of the primary. And it wasn't just that woman you saw on video. The Gomes campaign played in court nine different people making 24 drops of multiple ballots into absentee ballot boxes. Despite the ugliness between the candidates earlier today, Joe Gannam, whose side was accused of the improprieties, was talking about election security. We're doing everything we can and everyone else is, not only to, to add uh, additional levels um, and I think this should be permanent, frankly, across Connecticut. I can't speak beyond that. The polls in Connecticut closed at 8 Eastern as of a few minutes ago. It's Gannam with 37 percent, Gomes with 43.5, and the Republican David Hers with 6.2. The judge ruled that a new primary will take place in December if Gomes doesn't win. But, of course, if Gomes pulls out a victory tonight as the independent candidate, there would be no need for another primary and he would be the mayor-elect. Joining us now is Bill Bloss. He's the attorney for Bridgeport mayoral candidate, John Gomes. Thanks for coming back on the program. Uh, appreciate it. Um, all right, so just explain to us, as a legal matter, what's the legal violation here? I mean, is the claim that people who didn't vote were literally, you know, false names were put in there, or it's a, ta or it's a violation of the election laws of the state of Connecticut to do it the way that it was done? Well, so at a minimum, we know that it was a ladder, that the that ballots were cast that by people that were not entitled to cast the ballots. We don't have to prove in Connecticut uh, fraud, for example, or that dead people voted or that people were coerced into voting a particular way. But we were required to prove at a minimum that that ballots were cast by people who were not entitled to cast them. And we had a lot of evidence of that. And but these were registered voters, right? I mean, they, they were the bright names and addresses, et cetera. But the woman we're seeing on the screen likely was not allowed to whatever way she got them. Right. As you point out, we don't know. Was it coercion? Whatever it was, she's not allowed to cast them in the way she did. Is that a fair characterization? That, that's right. The ballot harvesting, which is what you're seeing on this video, uh, depositing ballots, a stack of ballots, numerous ballots, probably from an apartment building or a block, that's illegal in Connecticut. That that It's not illegal everywhere, but it is absolutely illegal in Connecticut. The theory being that you don't want to encourage partisans to, to uh, uh, pressure or coerce voters into voting and that nobody touches the ballot except the voter and a couple of very narrow exceptions. So uh, we proved the, the we proved what we needed to prove, whether there's more evidence of, of coercion specifically or or say fraud with ballots being taken out of mailboxes and cast by somebody other than uh, the voter, uh, signed by somebody in, other than the voter. That's going to be up to somebody with a little more investigative authority than I have, like like a grand 
jury uh, power or or uh, similar authority. So a lawyer for Bridgeport, um, you know, I kind of tried to save face here. Let me let you listen to what they had to say. This election uh, may have had bad actors involved. I'm not saying that that didn't occur, but it's not to a level that would uh, disenfranchise all the thousands of voters who did it right. What do you make of that? Well, he's just wrong. Uh, there, there were uh, there were quite a few voters who did it right. That's true, but the margin of error, the, the margin of victory here by the by the incumbent mayor was 251 votes, and we presented evidence that no no more than at a, no more than 420 people actually used the drop boxes. Mm -hmm. But we also presented evidence that at least. 1,250 ballots came in through the drop boxes. So there's a pretty big discrepancy there. The video it, it speaks for itself. I, I've, yeah. I've been doing this quite a long time, and I've never really had video evidence that powerful. And then the two uh, witnesses who took the fifth, uh, there was just really overwhelming evidence of misconduct here. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.